going on guys? What is going on guys? GrillXRS here and today I'm going to show you how to take these non-removable shields non-removable shields out of these bearings. These bearings usually they're they're not easy to clean you can't open them but today I'm going to show you how to open them. Well all you need for this is you need a knife you need some bearings obviously your bearings with the non-removable shields and you need either some bone speed cream or some WD-40. If you're gonna de-rust them, like this one right here, this one, you need WD-40. With this one, which I'm not gonna de-rust, I'm just gonna put lubricant on it and make it faster. With this one, you're gonna add some bone speed cream on it, alright? So, let's show you how to do this. A little warning with this, you can't put the covers back once you have taken them off. So, you're gonna have to run your bearings without the covers, and that kind of gets a little bit in the way. So what you do is, you take one of the covers off and one of the covers on. You don't take both of the covers because you don't need to take both of the covers. Or you can have a rubber seal and put it on this one if it fits. So then you have both ends covered and none of them are exposed to dirt or rocks. You can get some bone speed cream, one of these, at your local skate shop or online. On eBay maybe. Because eBay it's a bit cheaper, but you can get them from their store if you really want to support them a lot. Also, or you can get some WD-40, but the WD-40 is to de-rust your bearings if you want to get these bearings, like, like get the rust out of them. Then you can get this at, the, at your local hardware store, maybe Home Depot, maybe Lowe's, whatever. And a knife, you can get a cheap X-Acto knife at a dollar somewhere, a dollar store or something. Or you could get a Swiss knife, metal one, or just a kitchen knife to puncture it. Alright, so to get your shields out of your bearings, these shields right here, you need to first you get your knife and you can see that there are little ridges right here. As you can see, these bearings have these little ridges right there, if you can see them correctly. There's little ridges right here which makes it non-removable. But what you do is you don't go from the outside. If you go from the outside, you won't be able to get them out and you'll probably cut yourself or something. Where you're going to go is on the inside, right this area right here. Where the little ring is for the bearing to move, you're going to go puncture it right there. So let's show you how to do that. So what you're going to do, you're just going to take this, you're just going to puncture it. And as you can see, it gets a nice little hole right there. And once you get the little hole right there, you can just pry it open up like this. Just pry it like this, and you'll get the shield out. This won't damage your bearing at all, because when you're puncturing it, you're actually just hitting it. You're not actually, like, destroying anything inside. So it'll keep the bearings intact and easy to clean. So now let's show you how to clean them. These bearings are the non-rusted bearings. Obviously, I already have the rusted bearings with the shield off. And as you can see, they're pretty rusty inside and on the outside. So I'll show you how to de-rust them. Go get a can of some WD-40 at your local hardware store in order to de-rust your bearings. So what you're going to do is, you're going to take these bearings, you're just going to spray them a little bit with some WD-40, and then you're just going to spin them around. So then what you do is, you take the little wheel inside and you just spin it around to get WD-40 in and de-rust it. So, what you're doing now is actually making the bearings be able to move better. So as you can see, once I de-rusted them, they're moving better. Now let me go get some old rusted bearings over here. As you can see, these ones are rusted and I haven't de-rusted them yet. So what you do is, you see that it spins really slowly and kind of gritty if you can see it. Now with this one, as you can see, it spins nice and smooth. So if you go like this, it'll keep spinning. If you go like this on this one, it'll stop spinning immediately. So let's get these, this one de-rusted. So let's go, like I showed you earlier. You're going to take your knife, puncture it, puncture the bearing. As you can see, I got a hole right there. Maybe you can't see it that well, but it's right there. Then what you do is, you take it, and you pry it up. Obviously I need some leverage so let me just lift it up like this and take it and that's it. Then you got your 
rusted bearing open and now let's spray it with some more WD-40 so now you add some WD-40 right there I know it's gonna start foaming but it'll it'll be better if you add a little bit not too much so you can get all the bearing covered and good to de-rust it now this one is much more rust. I'm going to leave this one on the side so then the oil of the WD-40 can sink in and it will help de-rust the bearing by itself. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to add some Bones Speed Cream to your normal bearings. Now, I'm pretty sure this is straightforward, you know, just put a little bit of drops in there and what whatnot. But if people don't know, you can't just add a whole bunch of drops in there. You can only add a specific amount. So for each bearing, you might need to add two or three drops to each bearing. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now let's add the speed cream. So you put your bearing flat on the ground right there. You take your speed cream, and then you add only two drops or th two or three drops. I'm going to add two drops. And once the bearing has been lubricated, you take it and you move it just like the WD-40. And then what that does is it spreads the lubrication all over the bearing and it'll make the bear the ball bearings move faster. Alright guys, so that was my tutorial on how to get these non-removable shields, non-removable shields, out of these bearings, alright? So in case your bearings are stuck or are they rusty, you can just take these shields out and it'll make your life a whole lot better. Alright guys, so hope you enjoyed the vid. Please like, subscribe. And peace, you guys.